The most famous finger wag in all of sports history definitely belongs to Dikembe Mutombo. My name is Dikembe Mutombo, Polando Mukamba, Dikembe Zanzakwa Mutombo. Who famously would wag his fingers saying, Not in my heart. <laughs> what some people might not know is that he started basketball very late for professional standards. He in fact didn't start to play basketball seriously until he reached college and a recruiter saw his immense height and got him to start playing basketball at Georgetown University. In climbing, there are advantages to starting out early. However, there are athletes out there that, like Matumbo, also started late and were very successful. Akira Waku started climbing at 35 and climbed V16 at age 48. Lee Sheftel started at age 33 and climbed 513D, 514A at age 59. But one athlete who most would have considered to have started late, especially for the competition climbing scene, started climbing at the age of 17 and only three and a half years later won the world championship for bouldering in 2009. That climber not only has won multiple bouldering world cups and international events, but also has broken the beta along the way. Let me introduce you to Russia's Alexei Rubstov. But before we see today's beta breaks, let's talk about defining characteristics of an old school climber versus a new school climber. Although a top level climber, whether they are older or not, will most likely be able to climb a variety of different climbs and be able to adapt to many different styles, often when we talk about younger climbers versus older climbers, the main difference that is brought up is that a younger climber is more dynamic, whereas an old school climber is more static. If we compare Anna Stor, one of the most successful old school boulderers compared to the up and coming Futaba Ito, I think it's pretty clear to see that Anna is great at holding small holds and going statically, and Futaba Ito is great at dynamic moves on big holds. Alexei is considered to be more of an older school climber, but the new school setting changes hasn't stopped him from being at the top of the bouldering world cup circuit for many years, and including recent years. Alexei Rupstov can be seen here at a World Cup training simulation contrasted with Kai Leitner and Alex Magos on a boulder that both of them read as to go dynamically. Alexei Rupstov, without hesitation, tried to find a more static solution by using a heel hook, which eventually did work out for him. However, a great way he exemplifies his old school style is at the CISM 2018 Championship. Boulder number 3 featured a very dynamic start doing a paddle move to the right side of the boulder problem. The finish was absolutely brutal as it involved another paddle to dynamically go to the finish. Many of the other athletes found the intended solution very quickly. However, Alexei found a way to stop on the first run and jump move and make the next moves more static. Initially, he considered going to the finish dynamically like the other athletes, but he came down and found a unique beta break to finish the boulder. Потом будут смотреть это в записи, наверняка. Опа, ну вот вот это очень легко, очень легко получается, прям прям очень легко. А вот дальше какая-то проблема возникает у Лёши. Вот с этого края ребята как-то проходили, да, неудобный зацеп верхний. Никак. Минута остаётся, пробует по-другому, уж не знаю. И так, и так. Ну тоже вариант, да. Эх. В растяжку так на руках очень сложно. Опа! Молодец! Абсолютно по-другому прошел, не как все, а просто. By trusting his intuition and trusting an awesome heel hook, he was able to get the send. In 2019 at the Rock Ljubljana bouldering competition, he was faced with a pre-existing arm injury in the final. 
On one of the problems, he pushed his arm to the limit, and although he got the top, on a later problem, it was clear that he hurt it even worse. Despite this injury, he did win the event. However, he had to get surgery afterwards. Anyone who has experienced injury in sports before know that it's difficult to return not only physically but mentally. Oftentimes, you try and protect your injured body part and avoid moves that will strain it. Alexei found himself at the finals of the Doc Masters 2020 competition earlier this year. And on men's problem number two, he attempted his best at finding a way to do the boulder in an old school fashion as well as protect his arm. The boulder featured a campus move that was difficult for him to do with his arm injury. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, look at him there. His right leg is bigger than half the guy's waist. <laughs> ah. Instead, he tried some unique betas and found himself twisted up initially, which led to this great moment. Nice. Nice. So there's, there's one climbing qualification to Chloe Monster that no one else could do. Oh, look at. Ah. <gasps> I don't even want to know what his shoulder joints were saying to him right then. One, they would have been saying it in Russian and I don't understand, and two, although it was probably billet, but like, yeah, that was just nastiness incorporated. He eventually found a way to kick his feet above his head and do a series of insane matches on Tiny Crims to try and get to the top. Watch as Alexei puts it all out on the field as he rushes for a final attempt as a clock strikes zero. That's a nasty hand swap. <laughs> that is, yeah. You just see the crowd, they're just like, that looks horrible, <laughs> we're really enjoying it. It's interesting because climbing is such a pain-based sport. Uh -huh. <laughs> like when you're watching people com compete at their limit, it's all pain. Although Alexei wasn't able to top the boulder, his effort and attempts to break the beta is something incredible. Fighting injury and thinking creatively to use his strengths as a climber to get through some of the hardest moves in the competition was a brave attempt. Alexei proved to the world that you don't have to start at the age of 3 to be a world champion climber, and that with the right amount of hard work, creative thinking, and of course, by breaking the beta every now and then, we can be inspired to go crush our next climbing sessions. Thanks so much, Alexi. Good luck, and as always, keep crushing it. <laughs>